girl Two Buns, and we're out here on the world's famous Walk of Fame. As far as I know, most people like to keep their sex life private, but you know me, I'm curious, and I like to dig deep, real deep. Let's find out what the freaks have to say. Craziest place I've had sex. Um, I fooled around with somebody uh, that I worked with in a restaurant that I used to work in, my sous chef actually. So that was pretty crazy. The craziest a jumper would have to be. <gasps> you had sex in a jumper? A party, like you know, a bounce house? Outside at the beach. He like lured me in there and we just went at it. <laughs> Just outside, like I was out, not in a car, not in a house, not in a outside. I've had sex in a car before, um, and on the kitchen counter, a front yard. Well, I don't want to because it wasn't with my current, so <laughs> so is that okay? UCLA frat party. I don't even remember it. Iris chick. I just can't enter this. Left scratches on. I still got scratches. Like this staircase. It was a staircase in between some buildings, so it's not that exotic. On my chest. Airplane bathroom. I don't even remember where we fucked. First trip, me and an ex took together, and yeah, it was really difficult to plan it out. Kind of just like, hey, I'm gonna go in five minutes. You, I'm gonna leave the door unlocked, kind of thing, and yeah. It depends. It kind of differentiates. I've had, um, with, with the one person, I've had all experiences. It's like, at first it was really rough. I'd go home with bruises and shit, but it was like amazing. Eight orgasms in one night, so I go home happy. But um, slow is definitely nice. Making love is great. Uh, depends on what mood I am, because I'll go for both at some time. Both? I'm always nice or treat me like a whore. Oh, cool, treat it like a whore. No. Hey. <laughs> um, it depends like on how I'm feeling. It could go both ways. It just depends on how I'm feeling at that moment in time in the heat of the moment. So, you know, it could go both ways. Nice and slow. Sometimes, well, starting out, I kind of like it nice and slow, you know, just to get the feel. And then sometimes I like, you know, getting rough. Um, after drinks like this, Nice and fast, a little bit more um, kind of a sensual evening, um, slower. It really depends on the day. It's got to depend on my mood, whether it's Sunday morning or Saturday night, depending on who I'm going home with. What, what type of day is it Friday night? Today? Friday night? I don't know. My night just started. We'll find out in an hour. Crawling to bed with your best friend kind of day. <laughs> nah, I'm not treated like a whore. Always. On a scale of 1 to 10, one being slow and gentle, ten being hardcore porn, uh, six. Perfect sex to me is um, when you have the ultimate connection with somebody. When everything is just on point. You feel that just completely through your emotion and just everything that you're, uh, you're experiencing with the other person. I don't know. When I like when both are engaged and <laughs> just it being engaged, I don't know, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect sex to me is like when you get that really good foreplay going, y'all kissing on each other, it starts to get hot and steamy, and then you just start going at it, like you just start fucking, I guess, like you get in all different types of positions, you just crazy with it, all over the house, the bed, the bathroom, the kitchen. It's passion. Not a one night stand. Hands in the hair, sweat, and all over, all over the bed and all over the floor. I guess me finishing. The one you love, coupled with. Gotta be communicating. Late night hookah session with the weed, a little bit of henny. That can get weird. <laughs> I'm done with this. Okay. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the freaks. I mean, the show. I got a booty call to run too. <laughs>